What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Quantum and today we're going to be telling you guys what the absolute best time to buy a TV is right now in 2021, 2022. Now, I know a lot of people are getting their ducks in a row, basically finishing up your Christmas shopping and all that fun stuff, but there is a way to go about this to where it won't break the bank and you don't have to worry if you've missed the Black Friday rush in sales. Simply put, hold on to your wallet until the Super Bowl because around that time, you're gonna see the most disgusting price reductions ever, ever in the year, because that's when they need to make room for the new inventory that we're gonna be seeing at CES, oh, I don't know, as of January 4th, and it's gonna be really, really cool, because now you get to get a lot of savings on a lot of these awesome televisions. So, that's one aspect of it, but also you gotta go in with a game plan, because I know a lot of companies like to try to push the big three, they like to sell you the Sonys, the Samsungs, the LG. You've got to know that these so-called Chinese budget brands are literally hitting at the same exact level as a lot of these other companies. And I, and I kind of wanted to put that out there because a lot of people kind of have this stigma attached to Chinese brands. And I kind of want to address that for a second, right? They have the same wires, the same transistors, more or less the same components that make a television they all come from the same place in the same warehouses. They just slap a Sony logo on the end product, right? And I think obviously with the chipsets and the stuff that they get, a lot of the parts to make those chipsets and to do what they're doing does come from these Chinese manufacturers. The only difference is at the end of the day, you're paying grossly more money for somebody who wants to overcharge you. And I think that's really what it boils down to now. Counteractively, we can address the fact that obviously some higher end processing chips obviously have advantages and things like that. However, at this point in the game, it's not really so much as an advantage as it is like them just doing something for a long time. Because as we see, these budget brands are catching up year after year after year and TCL is absolutely one of them. If you remember my prior videos, or at least one of my prior videos, I talked about basically Best Buy removing the TCL 6 series and 5 series off of their website. Now, the reason of course for doing this is because simply put, those TVs are outselling the people who are paying the big bucks, namely Sony, Samsung, and LG. Now, listen, I know that people might hear that and might feel a type of way if they really believe in those brands, but you have to understand, Best Buy is not like some sort of champion for the people as far as quality control. They sell a brand called Insignia, and if you've ever seen an Insignia TV, it's one of the worst you'll ever see in your entire life. So simply put, as you know, we get into the Super Bowl season, they're, I'm sure, going to be pushing their own Insignia garbage on you. I hear now there's an Insignia QLED. A lot of people want me to check that out and kind of give you guys a read on it. I could probably save you a lot of time and just let you know it's probably going to be garbage. I mean like every other insignia ever but we can check it out the point being is wait for the super bowl get in on the action don't spend your money now on these like really lowly deals that they have right now these deals aren't really deals they're just them trying to say that they're deals before christmas wait until after christmas and then you'll cash out big time because anything that they're doing right now is just fluff to get you to spend money just to line their pockets a little bit more than that. It's not the actual blackout clearance event that they're trying to do, you know, that they're trying to really get everybody, you know, away from because they don't want you to be tr truth be told. They don't want everybody buying at the Super Bowl time when they're clearing out inventory because they won't make money now to close out their quarter. And uh, it's all about the end of quarter Q4 or whatever. So just keep that in mind. But that being said, if you guys have questions and you want to know some things, we're going to be doing a live stream tonight, 7 p.m. through 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so keep it locked. We're going to be hitting a lot of things and uh, come out, hang out, have fun with the community. Until the next video, see you guys later.